Hello and welcome to Pavli Chatlo. Pavli Chatlo is an amazing platform which will help you send WhatsApp messages to your users and customers via WhatsApp Business API. And in this video, we are going to see how what are the settings offered by Pavli Chatlo. So inside Pavli Chatlo as well, a lot of customization settings are offered to you. And in this video, we are going to see how you can manage these settings and how these settings section or these customizable settings can help you enhance your experience with Pavli Chatlo. So to know more, let me take you to my screen. Hello and welcome to Pavli Chatlo. Pavli Chatlo is a new platform from the house of Pavli which will help you manage your WhatsApp conversation. Whether it is managing your contacts, sending or receiving WhatsApp messages, broadcasting WhatsApp message campaigns, or creating flows or chatbot for WhatsApp. All of this can be done using this one platform. And in this video, we are going to explore some of the new settings of Pavli Chatflow, which will help you enhance your experience with the platform. So let's get started. Here you can see that we are on the dashboard of Pavli Chatflow, and here from the left sidebar, we will go to settings. Under settings, some of the settings are already explored in the previous videos. Like the opt-in management, inbox settings and quick replies are already explored and explained in the video where we have explored or learned about the inbox section of Pavli Chatflow. Then the contact custom fields and tags are already explained in the video where we have explored the contact section of Pavli Chatflow. Then the team member settings, chat assignment rule and configure SLA these settings are already explained in the video where we have covered the team queues or team member feature of Pavli Chatflow. And then now in this video, we are going to start with API and webhooks. Now using this section, you will get the API key and webhooks which are required to connect Pavli Chatflow with some other platform. So using APIs, you can just integrate Pavli Chatflow with some other platform and use it to send or receive WhatsApp messages. And while doing the API connection, for authentication, you need the API token of your Pavli Chatlow account. So from this section here, you can see you can get the API token. So here the API token is already generated. And if you want to generate a new token for your Pavli Chatlow account, you can just click on this generate API token button and use it to make the connection via APIs. After API, here we have the option of adding the webhook URL. So if you want to add the webhook URL in your Pavli Chatflow account and send some kind of notification or data to some other application via webhooks, you can add the webhooks over here. And below that, here you will get a list of all the webhook URLs which you have added in your Chatflow account. If you click on this add webhook button, then this box will appear in front of us, which will basically ask us three things, webhook name, webhook URL and event. Here in webhook name, you just have to enter a name over here, which you are going to give to this webhook. Then here in the field of webhook URL, you just have to enter a webhook URL on which you want to send the data. And here in webhook event from the drop down, you have to select the event that on happening of what event you want to send the data to the webhook URL. So here we are going to test it. We are going to just add a webhook URL and check whether this data is sent or not. And to get the webhook, I'll just use Pavli Connect. I'll visit Pavli Connect's dashboard. I'm going to create a workflow over here name it the workflow as Pavli Chatflow and get the webhook URL of this workflow. And then we are going to add that webhook URL in our Pavli Chatflow account and see what kind of data or how we can add the webhook and get the data. I'm going to select the trigger as webhook by Pavli and catch webhook as a trigger event. And Pavli can give us a webhook URL. I'm just copying this webhook URL and paste it over here in the webhook URL field. And in webhook event, I'm going to select contact created. Let's click on add. So as you click on add, this webhook URL is now added in our Pavli Chatflow account. If I click on this test webhook button, a test response, a dummy response will be sent to this webhook URL. And here in this webhook URL in Pavli Connect, you can see we have successfully received the test response over here. This means this connection is working perfectly fine. Now we'll just recapture the response. I'll go to Chatflow and I'm going to add a new contact over here. Click on this add contact button. Let's enter a dummy number over here, which I'm going to enter. Opt-in status is opt-in over here. This number is incorrect for United States. So I'll just start at four. And then let's enter the name. Let's say the name of the person is demo user. The tag which I'm adding is PC over here. Cities, for example, New York. The gender is, for example, male over here. And I'm not entering the rest of the details for the rest of the custom field. Just now I have added some basic details and we are going to add a contact in Pavli Chatflow. 
and this new contact is now added over here. Here you can see just now we have added a new contact named demo user. Now after adding the contact, we will see because we have added a webhook URL in Chatflow in our public connect account on the same webhook, the response is sent. And from Chatflow, here you can see that on the webhook URL, the response is received of a new contact. The contact name is demo user. This is the mobile number. This is the contact list in which the contact is added. We'll scroll down further. And here you can see the custom field details. We have the mail as a gender and New York as the city too. So in this way, in the webhook and API section, you can add the webhook URL and then basically send the data from Pavli Chatflow to some other application via webhook. And using APIs and API token, you can connect Pavli Chatflow to some other application. Then after this, we are going to move to the next setting that is activity log. And here under activity log, you will get the activity, each and every activity happening on your Pavli Chatflow account, whether by you or by your team members. So here you can see we have an activity log of each and every activity. Just now, a few seconds ago, we have created a contact over here. So here you can see that we have this log of created and this is done by me. You can see that I have my name and my account email over here. Also in front of that, here you can see the event data. Like we have the second event of update over here. If I click on this event data here, you can see the event was adding the webhook URL. So when we added a webhook URL in our chat flow account, a log for the same event is also created over here. So here you can see this is how the log looks like. So in this way, under activity log section, you can basically check the log for each and every activity happening on your chat flow account. Also, you can filter out the log on based on dates as well. And you can basically filter out the log on the basis of status. Like if I want to check all the logs of created events, so I'll just click on this created over here and all the logs of created events can be seen over here. Like here you can see few minutes back, I have basically added a team member in my account. I have created a team member over here. If you want to log of deleted or updated events, you can just click on these things and get a filtered log on that too. So in this way, we can filter out the logs and manage all the activity logs of your chat flow account done by you or your team members. So if your team member also perform any kind of action on your chat flow account, all of those actions are also added in the activity log. After activity log, the next setting which we have is of notification preferences. Now here under notification preferences, you have this option of sound notification. By default, the sound notification of all the accounts is on. But if you want to disable the sound notification or don't want to get a sound on notification whenever you get a notification, you can just turn this button to the right side and disable the sound notification too. Then after that, the last setting which we have is of time zone. And you can manage the time zone or change the time zone of your public chat flow account based on your local time zone. Like here, I'm in India and in India, we follow the Asia Kolkata time zone, which is basically GMT plus 530 hours. But if you are from some other part of the world following some other time zone, you can basically select any time zone from here in this drop down, and that time zone will be applicable on your chat flow account, which means the message which you send, which you receive, or the campaigns which you schedule will be done according to that time zone. So you can manage the time zone of your public chat flow account and change the time zone too. Now currently this time zone is automatically detected based on your current location but if you want to change it for yourself or for your team members or for clients you can do that too. So this was just a brief overview of the settings section which is offered by Pavli Chatflow and I hope this helped you understand that how this setting section actually works and it can enhance the experience with this platform. Now if you have any kind of doubts or queries or want some additional settings you can always write us in the comment box below. So this is it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.